What's up, Virgo? Welcome to your singles reading for March 2022. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, so what we do in these singles readings, do we take a look at the next person you're gonna be dealing with in your love life? It doesn't necessarily have to be your next relationship, but just the next person that you're gonna be dealing with in that aspect. Um, if you have a specific person in mind and you know their zodiac sign, we will also take a look at your energy with all the different signs this month. All right, make sure you check out your weekly love readings and your general reading as well, where we talk about everything that isn't your love life. All right, who's your next person, Virgo? Who are they? What are they like? Knight of Cups, they're cute. <laughs> the Tower, wow, that's interesting. Six of Cups. The High Priestess. King of Swords. Seven of Wands. All right, so this person's likely a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Doesn't have to be, but that's what we've got here so far in their energy. They're coming in as the Knight of Cups. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, if I didn't just say that five seconds ago. It's rough, guys. I'm trying. Anyway, um, so super flirty, romantic, potentially younger than you, or just you know the kind of person who is like real dreamy when it comes to love because they haven't like been hurt real bad yet you know they're not cynical yet or they're not coming across that way they're going to be the kind of person that um it's just super romantic this dude in the card has flowers so it's that kind of person they're like picnicking outside with the freaking horses it's super cute all right, let's get another one. I have to say though, before I pull a clarifier here, they also have the Six of Cups. So likely somebody you've known a long time um, can be somebody from your past. If it's not, it's a past life connection. The Four of Swords. So they're recently like healed from something. So you might not you might not connect for, with them right now. It might take a little bit of time because they're in some kind of healing, whether it's emotional or, or like physical, like maybe they're sick or something. And the Emperor, Aries, Divine Masculine. So they could be in their Divine Masculine energy or look at you like you are. They could be a business owner. Um, they could be in some kind of recovery having to do with like their job, their dad you know whatever um a lot of male energy here but um they definitely have their shit together otherwise they're in some kind of healing period now but they otherwise have their shit together and when they get out of this healing period they're going to be real grown up real take charge um they're really structured so i don't know if that's going to be boring to you or whatever i don't think so but there's that so with them having the Six of Cups here, let's see what this is all about. Why is the Six of Cups here for this person? So it's like they start out as a knight, they go through this healing and come out as the emperor, which is fucking amazing. The King of Wands, Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Huh. All right, so they're, they're real attractive. They're a real attractive person, excitable, life of the party, outgoing. Again, you've got another business owner card here. The Emperor and King of Wands are both both like entrepreneur energy, so they could have like their own business or be the boss where they work. Four of Wands, oh my goodness. 1111, uh, soulmate shit. You've got two soulmate cards here for them. Now, when I say that, that doesn't necessarily mean you're even going to be in a relationship or that it's your forever person, but it is a soulmate connection for you. We have a ton. Um, celebration, you could meet them at some kind of a celebration. This is weddings. This is stability. Um, definitely like moving in together. If you should engage with them, it could, it could end up there. So especially with them having the King of Wands, you know, life of the party and the Four of Wands, which is an actual party, you could meet them at some kind of a celebration, some kind of gathering. 
Um, they could be like a realtor even. Um, will the attraction be instant? Yeah, it, it, the tower's very instant, um, but it's also very unexpected. Why is the tower here? Temperance, Sagittarius. So this is kind of crazy. So it's like you meet them through some kind of major life event in their life or in your life or whatever. Something happened in their life that causes your meeting here. Um, and the attraction is like, it's immediate and it's unexpected, but there's not gonna be any action taken on it for a little while here with temperance that's you know being patient just waiting it out waiting for whatever they're healing from here actually the potential obstacle here is the high priestess make sure you're listening to your intuition make sure you're paying attention to signs and synchronicities with them having the six of cups and the four of wands um definitely pay attention to numbers this is actually it's 11 11 this card um so pay attention to that stuff so that you can kind of identify who they are in your life. Um, what can you do to help it? You have the King of Swords. This is all about honest communication. Um, so it's kind of crazy because you have the High Priestess, which is about intuition. And the King of Swords is logic minded, you know? So I would say just balance the two out and make sure that you're communicating with this person. Um, you know what I mean? If your intuition is telling you something, just talk to them about it. If it's something that's like kind of off or even something that's not off, just have a conversation with them about it. And the six of wands, this is about letting yourself be seen. It's confidence. It's putting yourself out there. Um, don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Don't be afraid, afraid to let yourself be seen. Be honest about who you are, what you want, what you're feeling. Um, you know what I mean? This is definitely about being confident enough to put yourself out there. What, when, where, how will you meet? The Seven of Wands. So I would say in the next seven weeks, likely sooner, um, and the Page of Swords. So they're probably already on your social media if you have it. They might be a little guarded right now. So whenever, you know, they've kind of dropped their walls a little bit, but this is also about, you know, when, when are you gonna reach out? <laughs> when are you gonna, when are you gonna say something? Um, there might just need to be something said that will kind of cause them to like open up. So whenever that happens, but this is, this is really soon. I'd say by seven weeks, but likely like within the next week or so. It's really just about, oh my gosh, about somebody making the decision to actually speak to the other person instead of just watching their social media, you know? All right, let's get you some romance oracles, Virgo singles. So the high priestess being an obstacle, it can also be that like they're kind of like mysterious. You don't know where their head's at. You just, you don't know what they're thinking. So with having the king of swords to fix that situation, honestly, same thing. Just have a conversation. Just ask them. All right. What do my Virgo singles need to hear? March 2022 honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together huh well that's interesting because they're kind of in like retreat but not in a good way they're healing from something but you also have this celebratory energy here uh, maybe meet them at somebody else's wedding uh, that came up for somebody else here get another one Maybe when you guys meet, you need a vacation together. Reconciliation, oh boy, someone from your past is returning to your life. Yeah, you've got the Six of Cups. So again, if it isn't somebody from this current past, it's definitely a past life. All right, let's get you your energy with the different signs. And majors we have here, um, Aries, and I think that's it. Oh, Sagittarius. Aries and Sagittarius are your majors so far. All 
All right, Virgo dealing with Aries. Virgo and Aries, Seven of Pentacles. So if you're dealing with an Aries, that is worth putting the time, the effort into. You will see that start to grow if you, if you make the effort. Virgo dealing with Taurus is the Queen of Cups. So they are emotionally available, um, emotionally intelligent, able to offer you some kind of love if you should reach out to them. They are someone that follows their heart. Virgo dealing with Gemini. Virgo and Gemini, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, if you're dealing with a Gemini, I would expect that to start to move pretty fast. Um, it's just the right time now. It's the universe pushing this connection, removing the obstacles. This is about fate and destiny. So if you don't already know them, you could meet them through some kind of weird circumstances. A Virgo dealing with Cancer. Virgo and Cancer. The Eight of Swords reversed. So they were previously like overanalyzing you, overthinking the connection. Um, they might have felt like their hands were tied and they couldn't do anything with you, about you, but they don't feel that way anymore. They're kind of coming out of that. So whether that means they've released themselves from you or they feel like they're not restricted and they can actually come towards you now, I'm not sure, but um, they're definitely not all up in their head about it anymore. Virgo dealing with Leo. Virgo and Leo is the Knight of Wands. So it's fun. It's hot. There's a lot of sex, but it's real inconsistent, real young. They don't necessarily have to be young, but the connection's not. It's not at a very high level. It's really just fun. Virgo dealing with Virgo. The full, ooh, if you have another Virgo, they do want a new beginning with you. They are ready to take a leap of faith with you and jump right in. Virgo dealing with Libra. Six of Swords reversed. You can have a Libra from your passage trying to come back. Virgo dealing with Scorpio. Virgo and Scorpio, the Three of Pentacles. So you can have a Virgo or a Scorpio coworker that's into you or you're into them, but either way, you guys would make a good team. Like, you could definitely build on that connection if you want to. Scorpio, um, not Scorpio, we just did Scorpio. Sagittarius, which you already have here in this reading as well. So, Virgo and Sagittarius, ooh, you got strength. Um, there's going to be patience that's required in that connection. Patience, confidence, um, you know what I mean? So... Yeah, it's cool. It's just going to require some patience and some confidence. Courage. Virgo dealing with Capricorn. Ten of Pentacles. So you guys would do well together, like, in a stable home. Like, your finances would be great. It would be stable, long-term. Virgo dealing with Aquarius. Virgo and Aquarius. The Three of Swords reversed. If there's an issue with you and an Aquarius, like some past hurt, that is being healed. I don't know if that means anything for you two, but they are, they are healing from something. Virgo dealing with Pisces. The Nine of Pentacles. They just want to stay single. They like their independence. All right, let's get you some additional messages. Additional messages for Virgo singles. March 2022 balance okay this is actually um temperance which you had here already sagittarius take everyone's input into consideration merge viewpoints to create a better solution take your time there's no need to rush yeah patience seems to be a thing for you in this reading nine of winners and nine of swords unfounded fear focusing on worst case scenarios allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the problem so again, if you're having some issues with like anxiety, depression, stress, because you feel like your intuition is telling you something weird, um, just say it, just talk to them because it, it might just be all in your head. All right. All right. I love you guys. Take care.